Hey guys, it's David here, and welcome to my Metal Ziggurat Dungeon walkthrough. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing the new level 70 dungeon, Metal Ziggurat. And uh, for a second there, I was showing you guys the Dungeon Finder, since I didn't talk about that yesterday uh, in my first attempt video of this dungeon. Um, so basically, you can just queue with any team, and you select your role, and you can actually get XP if you're low level, so it's really cool. Um, and on my team, I have Movado, Cavman, and uh, Skull. And you guys probably know Movado and Cavman, they're always in my walkthroughs. Uh, two of the best people I know, except actually uh, Max dies here on these first mobs. So I made this video in about 15 minutes, um, and then I shortened it to 5 minutes, as you guys can see because I wanted to speed it up and just not make you guys have to watch for so long. So uh, we're just fighting mobs here, and basically when you get to about like five or six mobs, you're going to want to pray as a monk, and um, everyone else just DPS. It's really helpful to have a mage on your team for, this, for these mobs. And actually this dungeon is really cool because you get a choice between one or two first bosses, and each of the two bosses, in my opinion, requires a certain class like you either need a ranger or a mage and the boss that we got to you need a mage definitely um, but you could probably go with a melee monk um, but yeah so we're just facing a bunch of mobs here and you get stunned so if you're a monk you're gonna wanna pray before you get stunned and if you can't pray then free will and just rain and rain of healing is really great this update uh, actually the range for it is crazy good I don't know why game Loft did that actually I do uh, maybe they're tired of nerfing us all the time and they want, want to make us good. Uh, but our mana is really terrible still. So this is the theory here. Uh, these two mobs decide which place you're going to go. And as you can see on the map, there's two different paths you can go. And uh, it's random, but a lot of people have said either, like if the right mob dies first, then the right door opens. If the left mob dies first, then the left door opens. But in my opinion, I think it's whichever one you hit first. Um, but neither of those has been proven, so it might just be random. So the boss that we faced here is Pot Potrydon. I don't really know. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, so basically what you do for this boss is you all run to the middle and uh, just DPS the entire time. And this is an extremely easy boss for monks and tanks. For mages and DPS, they're going to be the ones doing the main stuff here. You don't really have to heal that much, and you don't really have to tank that much. Um, except the healer's job is really important at the end. Um, so you can see these bugs coming, and the mage just has to like freeze them and uh, use mage spells to kill the mobs. And ranger or whatever other class he has does the same. And so the monk's job is to use ring of healing and uh, rapid healing and divine light when your DPSs get attacked, especially at the end because it goes like one mob and then it says two mobs appear and when it's three mobs appearing you're gonna wanna pray as the monk and use ring of healing but also make sure that you're focused on the mage and you're just healing the crap out of him so yeah that's the first boss um, you don't actually face the second boss for some reason game off didn't want to do that for whatever reason but yeah the second boss or the other first boss you just basically stand in one spot and uh, glitch him so it's really stupid so this is Kor, and you can't face him until you kill one of the first bosses. And he is probably the hardest boss, but after a while he gets pretty easy. So as you can see here, this is like the main strategy of the dungeon that you need to know. Uh, the tank pulls the boss, and as you can see, we are a pretty safe distance away from him. And so when it says casting Earthquake, you're going to want to pray. When it, uh, has, when it says like he's healing, the tank needs to use Ankle Slash, and I think you only need to use it once the entire dungeon as a tank. Or one of the DPSs has to freeze that healing thing, or else you're never going to be able to kill him. So, as you can see, like, this is how it's been described to me. Imagine, like, a pentagon, and the tank is in front of you, and you're at the next corner of the pentagon. And every time that that lightning appears, you're going to want to run away. And uh, Monk will have to use Rain of Healing a lot here, and the range is extremely good for it, so the tank should be fine. Um, so yeah, he's already dead, because this is sped up really fast. And as you can see here, uh, the server got kind of fucked up, but yeah, so I, I hope you guys could see exactly what we did there. I wanted to just make this as short as possible, and yeah, we started reconnecting, so of course, 
I flicked off the camera, so uh, fuck you, Gameloft, and yeah, thanks guys for watching.